Hi, my name is Franz Edson. I'm the director of Mission Systems at Electric Boat, and we're here at Sea Air and Space to talk to you about a novel concept we have, something called the Universal Launch and Recovery Module. That's a system that allows us to deploy and recover very large unmanned underwater vehicles from submarines. The prototype that we're testing right now works on an SSGN, but in addition to SSGN, the tactical version that we're developing will interface with the Virginia payload module. Virginia payload module, as you're probably aware, is uh, the addition of four tubes to the Virginia class ship, provides a tremendous increase in capability to Virginia payload module. So in addition to Tomahawks, you can carry uni this universal launch and recovery module and the deployed payloads. We've had this vision for a long time on how to deploy and recover large unmanned underwater vehicles from submarines. And we call it the universal launch and recovery module. And the concept is add capabilities to submarines by virtue of being able to deploy and recover these large unmanned underwater vehicles. That way they can go off and do one thing, the submarine can do something else. So it's very cost effective. The way it works is we have something we call the Universal Launch Recovery Module, which fits inside an SSGN tube and will ultimately fit inside a Virginia Payload Module tube. This is the Lockheed Martin Unmanned Underwater Vehicle, and you can see in our test facility out in, um, at Electric Boat in Groton. And here we are doing pressure testing with the actual payload, with the actual payload cradle in a, a test tube, which is identical to an actual SSGN tube. So as you can see, it comes out of the ship, axis vertical, it then rotates to axis horizontal. At that point, once it's axis horizontal, this is of course submerged, will release the overtoggle mechanism, the locking mechanism, release the um, buoy, and the vehicle will deploy. So what you see here is the identical payload cradle you just saw in our test facility. This happens to be in Lockheed Martin's test tank in Riviera Beach, Florida. This is actual at-sea footage taken of us releasing, and then in a moment you'll see us deploying, uh, excuse me, uh, recovering again, the same payload module, in this case on the seafloor off of um, off of Florida. You can see the capture mechanism here. It's very robust. It's a nice big aperture. Once it's recovered, it's pulled back down onto the payload unique cradle. And then after that, we're going to switch to the next, um, we'll go back to our test facility in, um, in Connecticut. So now once it's recovered, it goes back to axis vertical then it comes back down into the tube and once it's in the tube we can then pump down the tube we can um, gain access to it we can recharge it uh, replenish payloads so on and so forth but the whole concept is increased submarine relevance increased submarine capability by virtue of the deployment and recovery of large unmanned underwater vehicles